All right, let's get going on finishing the challenge for lesson three here. Uh, where we left off, we had player one firing. We didn't have player two firing. And player one's bullets just go right through player two. That's no good. So we're going to just tidy it up and sort of make everything work a bit tighter here with our collisions and our destroy events and our firing. So uh, first thing I'll clean up. I know that player one ball, it hits a wall. And it destroys itself. That's pretty good. I'm going to do player two collides with ball one. Make sure you pick the right ball here, right? Ball one. A little bit of code. And I purposely picked ball one just to test that you uh, know your stuff here. I don't want to destroy player two. If I type this line, remember, you're coding inside player two. This command, or sorry, method, this will destroy player two. Okay, that's no good. So what I really want here is I want with other instance destroy. Okay, player two collides with ball, the ball, is the other object. Right. Maybe you want it to do an explosion. Probably did. Effect create above. EF. Explosion here at the X and Y position of player 2. Size 0. Color. Well, this one has to be red, right? That's damaging. Okay, and that's it. Now I'm going to copy and paste that just to tuck in for later on. Okay, let's test that out. So it's player two being hit by ball one. Perfect. Okay, what happens if the ball one's hit the wall? That was coded from our last video. Okay, that one's good. Let's get player two firing. Player two. Add event. Key press. Now they use the arrow keys. The control key is pretty close. So that might be a good one. A little bit of code. And a bit of refresher in our creating. I have to make an instance. And I should, we called it a little nickname for now. I don't know. I'll call this one Jane. Jane equals. Oh, by the way, as I'm typing here. You'll see me often do this. Space bars are totally fine between the equal signs. So whether you do it like this or whether you do that, it makes no difference to the code. Just to prove it, I'll leave a space this time. Instance create. Where do I want it made? Right here on top of player 2. I am coding in player 2 right now. And I want to make an object ball 2. That ball would just sit there. That's why we gave it a little nickname. Okay, we were remembering what was made. So we can say, hey, Jane, set your speed to 8. Hey, Jane, set your direction equal to, and this little trick. I'm coding inside a player 2. This direction would be player two's direction. Looks good. Quick test. Okay, but as expected, everything's going through everything. So through player one and through the walls, let's take care of that. Let's go to, let's do player one getting hit first. Player one. Add event has a collision with a ball two. A little bit of code. Now this is the code I copy pasted before. A little cheater there. Player one gets hit by the ball. The ball is the other. So with other, instance destroy. And of course, make a little explosion. 
that's it. And the other thing was the ball hitting the wall. Or, sorry, ball two hitting a wall. Uh, let's see where we could code this. Doesn't matter which one we want to choose. They'll both work. I may as well do ball two. Ball two collides with a wall. Drag a little code. I want the ball to be destroyed. So just simply use instance destroy method. Okay, and the ball gets destroyed. And I guess I had that explosion, which I should have copy pasted. Notice some things change color in Game Maker as you type them. If you type them right, if you type it wrong, yeah, it doesn't know what that is. If you're wondering how I know what this is, it's actually all in the documents. You can actually hit the question mark here. There's a whole big list of commands and methods and variables and letters and things that we'll use later on. Okay, well that's for another day. So no, I don't go around memorizing this thing as a hobby. Okay, just you pick it up slowly. Now, if everything's good, we do a quick test. We should have both players working, able to destroy each other. Hey, looks good. Now, of course, you want to score. You want to send the players back to the starting point. You want health packs. You want points. You want all that stuff you see in normal games. Of course, that's coming next. Okay, but you've got to a good spot here. Hopefully, you're able to do that challenge on your own. And uh, next lesson four, we'll be adding the good stuff. Thanks for watching.